Okay, touch sensors. We got bumps and we got limits. They both go into the digital ports on your Cortex. If you plug them into analog, they will not read. You must plug them into digital. Pressed is on, which is a one. Released is off, which is a zero. Binary is digital, on, off, on, off, on, off. And that's how it reads. It's either on or it's off. That's the only two measurements you get with a digital um, with a digital sensor. It's either on or it's off. Limit switches and bump switches are the two we use. To program a switch, you can add an untilt touch, which will make your test bed wait to start doing anything until you press the bump switch. Until bump will do this as well, but remember, until bump will be pressed down, release, then it runs. Until touch is press and it runs. Don't use until button press because it won't work. So uh, you can also add an until touch to make the test bed run until you press the limit switch. So you can have an until bump start it and then until touch turn it off. So our piece, VEX LEDs. Okay, LEDs, VEX LEDs are expensive. <clears throat> Try not to blow them. And I know you're going to say, yeah, right. How, how dangerous could that be? Wear your eye protection. I have watched them explode and send little chunks of plastic all around my room. So the VEX LEDs all work the same. Doesn't matter what color they are. Metal to metal. And you can see I gave you a picture right here. The metal tines, the little metal pieces, are facing the same direction. If I plug that in backwards and power it, I'm going to explode that light. And I have them. They make a nice popping noise and bits of plastic go everywhere when they go or they just go and don't work ever again and they're expensive so please don't do that you want to treat them well because they're expensive to replace and they are very easy to short out you can name them the same way you name anything else uh, they go into your digital section and you just name it in this case, I named it green, even though in the picture it's yellow. It doesn't matter what you name it. I could name it Bob if I wanted to. And then I just tell it it's a VEX LED so that the Cortex knows how to power it. Uh, make sure they're plugged into the extender correctly, metal to metal, or you're going to short them out. <clears throat> so I want you to try this. Use an until touch for the bump switch. So you're going to use until touch, so the bump switch is going to turn it on, turn on that right motor, run it at half speed, and the LED will come on. Then I want you to do an until touch for the limit, which will turn off the motor and the LED. And it's going to look something like this piece of code right here. So give it a try, and let me know when you've got it running, and I will come and sign off.